Another interesting brush is vector brush tool. If you select it, you come with vector brush tool here. Its settings are the same to pencil tool. You have to select some preset of brush from here. Brushes. If you don't see that, <clears throat> you can go into the window and activate brush. If you are in a vector persona or vector part, you have access to vector brush, all of these brushes. Or if you go to the pixel persona or pixel part, you have access to all <clears throat> pixel brush. The panel is changing here. Nice. If you go to the vector part, I call it vector part. Select the vector brush. Uh, for the vector brush, first you have to select all of these brushes here. The panel is in the next of the uh, layers. And here we have lots of category that you can select all of these brushes. For example, this. You can select these brushes. Brushes. We have a lots of brush here. Then you can click and drag. It has no color. You can simply come here. Be careful about this. You can. It's better to select the color from here. <clears throat> then uh, click and drag. This is a vector brush. It means if you go to the point mode tool, you can modify it. Interesting. You can add point. You can uh, change it like a curve. Very interesting. So you can select any brush from here after drawing. Interesting. And he does settings that I uh, explain you how you create your <clears throat> own brush. So be careful. This is a stroke. All of the curve are stroke. And you don't need to feel color. You have to select the stroke or directly uh, select the stroke from here. If you go coming, you can select the brush here. You can change width. You can change width of that here. Or you can change it before drawing. Or you can change the opacity of that. You can select the brushes from the layer, artboard. You can select your brushes that you selected here. Move it, go into the brush tool. And again, you can change the opacity of your brushes <clears throat> over them. Or you can use the blend mode, for example, lighten or any uh, blend mode that you want, overlay. Hmm? You can make it with full opacity. So you can use a blend mode <clears throat> if you want. The controller is for, uh, if you have a pen tool in the tablet, you can use a Persia. And like I said before, this is a uh, change custom brush setting that I explain it later in a more stabilizer. As I said before, in the pencil tool, you have a rope that you can create your brush very smoothly. Or uh, window mode, you have a bar that is connected to, do, to your brush. I explained it before in a pencil tool. And here you can change the, if you go into the rope, you can change the length of your rope. Select uh, all of these curves <clears throat> and delete them. Yeah, you have to go to this mode and delete them. Be careful. Go into the pencil brush and you can change the length of your rope with this. And if it's, uh, it's very high. For changing the, <clears throat> the brush, this is a default brush, okay? For doing that, you have to come to brushes and any brush that you selected, for example, this, you have to double click to that and because it's a preset, you have to change the width of the brush uh, here. It's a default, you can reset it. And you can come here, <clears throat> it's a stroke. You can come to a stroke and change width also locally here. And all of the settings that I explained before. 
and these are <clears throat> preset vector brush you can go into the node tool and change all of these nodes very nice another okay we don't have any special settings here so going to the brush panel and uh, <clears throat> explain them so as you can see we have a lots of uh brush settings here yeah lots of brush settings. you can double click and come to the brush setting go in here and draw it before that you can change the width of that <clears throat> to better see this or you can directly change it from here if you want select it Make sure that you are selecting ink. I think it's a better, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so from here, you can choose the category that you want, or from here, you can access all of the settings that I explained it now. <clears throat> First, uh, I want to create my new category here, new category. You can change it to my brush. My new category, as you can see, I have here my brush, it's here. <clears throat> I want to create my own brush but before that I want to explain the settings of these brushes here for example I selected this brush and right with right click you can edit brush <clears throat> rename it duplicate it delete brush I don't, don't do this because these are our default brush move to your for example your my brush category if you <clears throat> use it a lot or copy to your brush preset and i explain how to create three type of brush solid brush texture intensity and texture image i explain them <clears throat> i will explain them don't worry you can edit brush or simply double click to edit your brush this window will be open from here you can change the name of your brush you can change the width of your brush and <clears throat> you can change the size variance because of the pressure if you go in your uh, touch tablet pen you can draw something like this because I, i'm going in mouse and uh, couldn't uh, explain it very well to you if you have a pen tool you can use it or opacity variance if you uh, create your pen brush is very smoothly going if you <clears throat> paint it harder the opacity will be 100 percent if you uh, don't paint harder you have zero so the variance you want as you can see it's a pressure and with this mode you have your pressure you can choose any mode that you want <clears throat> constant li linear or um, something like this if you have pen tool test it okay this is a texture this is a texture that they're creating and with these handles they are creating the end and start of your <clears throat> of their brush and the mode is repeat if you want you can repeat this this, this texture or stretch it to create this um, this brush if you brush it little one it's create one if you continue as you can see it's a stretch in this texture comes here you can create your own texture there and you can reset it if you don't want at the corner <clears throat> uh, it's better to turn off the cap uh, like this in the corner now let's ex explain what's in the corner in the corner you can make it a full overlay or pull <clears throat> it's better to select it and then you can change the uh, setting of that these are presets and uh, for the corners uh, the pool it means it's stretched the corner the overlay it's uh, calculate the head and the end like this it's overlay pool all the fold is cutting the edges it's a better mode is a pool so you can uh, tell the software which part do you want to choose and create a texture for you with this head and handle 
So if you want whole texture, you can change end and start like this. <clears throat> Don't forget to reset all of them. Okay, that's it. Okay, this, these are our presets of the curves and I want to create my own. So, as I said before, you can go to create new category, rename your category, duplicate. Sort category, you can change my name, show the list, show brush name, auto scroll if you select it, auto scroll category if you select something, it's automatically scroll. You can <clears throat> buy or purchase or download free brushes that imported here. Look at this. For example, this brush, you can import them or you can export your brushes to other your friend first brush is a new solid brush first of first i'm going to do my brushes and create a new solid brush it's a simple solid brush with no texture you can just change the width change the variance of the pressure variance of the opacity and because we have no texture this part is turned off this is a simple solid brush another brush is <clears throat> textured intensity it means it works with black and white images this works with color images so new intensity brush uh, it's navigate the on your project and uh, i create some simple start to explain you first a black background with a white it's uh, because if you mm, second brush type is uh, texture intensity it means it's created with black and white and you can change its color first this is star it's creating here double click to edit it first here body is a stretch it's a stretching if you uh, draw it it's stretched a star with the color it was here you can see because it's black and white and uh, with a black background and white is okay and it's uh, just just select this star and repeat you can simply repeat your star here or you can uh, for example tell the software please sample this part of stars for me you can change your width also here nice or you can make it full nice <clears throat> okay and the pressure it's very simple you create your own first uh, brush tool. From here, you can directly change the color of your. Oh, as you can see, we have a problem. No, no, it's right. So you can create your own brush and repeat it. Yeah, this is a repeater texture. Going to select it and you can delete it. So this is work with black and white. Let's try another thing. Uh, <clears throat> a new texture intensity with vice versa. White background with a black. Oh, as you can see, it does not create well. Because the uh, white background, um, it detected the uh, black background and delete this. You can insert, um, if you want to high quality brush, insert high quality image, but make sure that your computer pc is very well because it's uh, need more power to calculate <clears throat> so be careful about that it does if you want like this you can draw it with a white background it's create something like this nice if you don't want something like this you can uh, import white background with a black it's delete as you can see, it's delete the black part and you can see uh, behind them. Nice. This is another thing. If you want to insert colorful image, but you cannot change the color, let's try import texture image. For example, I insert this colorful image. Again, double click. Don't want to stretch it. I want to repeat that or you can import uh, another texture and sample it and that's it and you can create it but 
if you want to insert its own color make sure you delete the color of a stroke click on here and delete it and you can see your own colorful texture go in here and uh, delete the texture you can select any texture and it's overlay the your color texture go into the color and click in here to delete the texture and you can create your own brush so you learn to how to create your own tree brush and then you can export your brushes category here in trending that's it i hope you enjoy hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release